Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today is Thursday, June 16th, I think. Sorry, I keep forgetting what day it is. Um, anyways, if you guys hear like a little nasal congestion or something, it's because I've been feeling under the weather. But I needed to film this video because I am so frustrated. Um, so... I got myself into a mess with my wax and like I feel so overwhelmed by my wax I have not bought any since the end of 2021 like I want to say either like probably November because I know I made a wax Wednesday purchase but I have not bought any wax and I've been using up you know all as much wax as I can without being wasteful but I'm kind of like feeling like really down on myself and I felt really down on myself for a while like probably for half of this year when it comes to my wax because I cannot completely use up all of this wax before it loses scent. I have had now two, I wanna say two, uh, like things of wax, actually no, three things of wax that I've had to throw out because it is like lost its scent pretty much. So I had to throw it away well and then I keep holding on to scents that I'm like maybe I want to give them another try even though I didn't like them so much or I feel like obligated to use them one I was like so there was this one scent that smelled so horrible I'm not gonna say the name of it or the company it's from or anything like that because I don't want to bash any company you know every company has hits and misses but this one particular scent, like, I just could not even send to a friend as a gift. To me, it just smelled so, like, repulsive and horrible that I just, like, had to throw it away. Because I don't want my friends to get a package with a scent that I think smells so, so bad. Like, I just feel like, is that really an act of kindness? No, like there's one thing if it smells good and it like just doesn't meet like my preferences, but if it just smells straight up bad, like there's a line that needs to be drawn of what is acceptable to send away to a friend and I felt like that scent did not meet the criteria. So anyways, going back on topic because I got kind of rambly there, I am giving myself permission to throw scents away that don't throw um like in the trash because like I can be mad at myself for buying so much wax that I can't use it all that I want to but at the end of the day melting a scent that doesn't have a fragrance is like just punishing myself and like I don't deserve to do that to myself anymore so yeah pretty much I have made the decision that if a scent doesn't have scent, I'm going to give myself permission to throw it away. If it's a scent that has scent that I don't like, I'm giving permission to not try to force myself to use it because I want to be able to have it as empty. No, I'm not going to make myself do that anymore. I am going to send it away to a friend. So yeah I also have made the decision that I'm gonna use my wax in order from when I purchased it so let me show you kind of like my setup in my closet because first is 2020 wax and January 2021 wax that's as much fits on my bookshelf in my closet so that's as much as I'm gonna focus on and kind of my goal is to like use everything one time like not empty it out at first just see does it have scent? Do I like it? So just using it once. Then if it fits both that criteria, then put it back into my closet and I'm going to use it up eventually, but I need to test everything in my closet first. 
and then I will throw away the stuff that doesn't have scent and I will um okay so like in terms of things that don't have scent I'm not talking about that don't throw in my home because there are plenty of um, scents that don't throw in my home but when I smell the actual wax the wax still has scent I'm talking about lost its scent as in when I hold the chunk of cold wax up to my nose and I sniff I cannot smell anything but just like a waxy smell that I'm giving permission to myself to throw away um, and then stuff that doesn't throw in my home, but the wax still has scent, I will send away to friends along with anything that throws, but I just don't personally like it. So, let me flip the camera around and show you guys. I'm not going to show you guys my whole bedroom because I'm actually doing like a whole cleaning project in my bedroom this weekend. Um, because it has just gotten out of control. I have teacher things in the middle of the floor. Floor. I have like that used to be my sister's bed but my sister came home so I didn't have anywhere else to put it but in the middle of the floor so I have teacher things in the middle of the floor I have wax everywhere because I just was like I need to redo my whole wax situation it's just not working for me so my bedroom's a little bit of a mess right now um, and then I'm doing a whole weekend cleaning project where on Saturday, I'm literally going through and decluttering things and then putting it into piles of like, I want to put this in my dresser. I want to put this in my nightstand. I want to put this in my closet. I want to put this under my bed in the little tubs under there. And then on Sunday, I'm taking everything from their piles and finding home for them and getting everything situated because I cannot deal with this anymore and then hopefully next week I'll be able to bring my classroom stuff into my classroom next week on Friday and Saturday so that's what my hope is and what I am looking forward to doing so anyways I'm going to turn my camera around show you guys my 2020 and January 2021 wax that I'm going to be you know trying one of and seeing what I'm going to decide and I also am going to show you guys my um, box of things that I have decided to let go of so give me one second I'll be right back okay so here is my closet set up please forgive me it's a little bit of a mess also I hope that my work shirt logo doesn't show so that you guys cannot see where I work um, but anyways so here is the top shelf of my little bookshelf that I have and I have those two containers which have 2020 wax. That container of quarterly favorites is actually empty so I might put like a different label on that one and change it to something else. And then we can move down. So all this wax is 2020 wax. And then all this wax down here is 2021 wax. 2021 wax from the month of January only and then that is a bin of samples because I just need to use up my samples so that's everything the bottom shelf just has candles and then this bag actually has wax from May and June in it but I just didn't have anywhere else to put it other than there so that's why it's there um so yeah that is that and these two containers have 2020 wax i can't remember if i told you guys that let me show you guys the other thing i was going to show you real fast so pretty much this is the box that i was talking about and it has just like extra packing peanuts in it from boxes that i have received in the past and pretty much the things that i have decided to get rid of not this stuff that stuff that just needs to go into my drawer for June, but it doesn't fit because there's not enough room. The wax in that bag is um, from February and March of 2021. So that's the wax that I will be adding into my closet as soon as I get through my 2020 wax. So, okay, anyways. So I have a winter candy apple from Up North Creations. This one I am holding on to I sent one cube to a friend in the mail who's supposed to get their package today and then the other four cubes I am hoping to split between two other friends that I'm hoping to um, send a package to. 
This one, Super Tarts Falcon. It is Sweet Tea Strawberry Blue Sugar Driftwood. This one was just not really my scent preferences. It had kind of like a um, perfumey cologne type note, um, like as a bottom note to it, which was weird to me. So anyways, I sent two cubes off to a friend and then I have um, another friend or two that I would like to send a couple cubes to of that one. And I have one of L3's Cupboard Under the Stairs Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. I emptied one of these in a puppy pack and I didn't really get anything special from it. So um, I sent one off to a friend and then I have one left. So I'm going to send that. Then I have Destination Wax Lavender Blackberry, uh, which just, well, this one performed well, but just wasn't really my scent preferences. Um, and then I have this, which I was going to send to my friend that I sent a package in the mail the other day, but it actually didn't fit in the box. So I just have it saved to send to somebody else. It's in the scent Pineapple Fizzy Pop from Zape. Um... And this is one of my favorite scents, so that's why I put a heart on it. And then I have this one, L3 Waxy Wonders Reindeer Nose. Um, this one is Cherry, Vanilla, Gooey, Marshmallows, and Sugar Cookie. I've been, like, on the fence about this scent cream soda that I had from L3 in a Trig Tart. And I love it mixed with this scent. But when I smelt the Trig Tart, it didn't have any scent left in it. So I am going to go ahead and prepare to send this reindeer nose off because it still has a good amount of wax. Anyways, that is everything. And then these packing peanuts, I just keep to reuse in my packages that I send to friends. So that's everything. And... Um, let me know if you guys want updates on, like, what wax I have de-stashed. Well, I call it a de-stash, but I don't actually sell it. But, like, what wax I have given away to friends. Let me know if you guys are interested in that or not. If not, then no big deal. But if so, then I would be more than happy to film those for you. So, that's everything for this video. And, you guys, if you're in the same boat as me where you just... Let your collection get a little bit too big for you, like, and you are punishing yourself by making yourself melt wax that doesn't have a scent or that lost scent or that you don't like, um, like, give yourself permission or, you know, allow yourself to just let go of things and you know, that you don't have to keep on holding on to this wax or you don't have to be forced to use wax that you don't like. Um, okay, I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I will see y'all next time. Have a fabulous rest of your day. As always, make sure you stay positive. Bye!